shield uh, leads to a lot of combos, but I feel like Steve doesn't really need to try to pressure Game Watch's shield usually. Three, um, two, he kind of just hang one, back and get the go! the blocks and uh, the the mats he wants. And I uh, just even saw it just now. Uh, Monty just kind of jumped in, trying to start something like maybe a falling there, and then he just immediately got punished. Like Jake wasn't the one who initiated anything there. And um, you probably won't see Jake being the one to approach so much in this matchup. Yeah, and for good reason. Jake has all the tools in the game to just kind of play this matchup as slow as possible. And as slow as Jake is willing to play it through, because there's a lot of things that we've talked about it so many times, Jared, but Steve gets a lot from that thing. Yep. Uh, and I, honestly, I think it's really strong, too, in this type of matchup, because, oh, man. Game Watch is so light, and uh, if Steve can just hang back and get the right materials, like all these diamonds, uh, he can kill Game Watch super early. So, yeah, it just really works out for Jake the playing the slower game. Uh, no, no up throw at this percent, but that is something that is on the table relatively soon. Oh, okay, nice forward air from the ledge. Paying attention to the minecart, but there's that tether grab, gooping them up oh, so man. far, and the up throw is just, just enough to kill Game of Watch on the stage. I don't know what Jake's doing. I don't know what Jake's doing. No I don't know either. I, I don't know what that why that happened. I, I don't know if that was a homie stock or Jake was like, "Yo, man, I get it. Let's make things a little, little interesting here, Monty." But I don't know, man. I'm not the one holding the controller. It's Jake, even though I question that decision here. Uh, but that's gonna be a non-questionable decision here. Using the up tilt to just juggle Monty all the way up into the air, with, into up air. Oh, that diamond back air. Game Watch is way too light, and that move is incredibly powerful. Uh, yeah, not even surprised he died at that percent. Still has a few of the diamond tools available as well. Oh, oh was we'll right in yeah. for it, but wow, actually not the sweet spot for smash. So not too bad for Jake. Big, big damage. Oh my goodness. Game Watch is so light. You need to take in the almost 60% while he still has some diamond tools. Uh, Monty's got to be very careful. The threat of dying is all too real. You can yeah. see already Jake's throwing out the four smashes because he knows. <laughs> oh, the range on it too. Very deceptive. It seems like the uh, sword just doesn't have that much reach based off of like the way it looks but it actually the crazy part is there's a wind back which kind of hitbox shifts steve's hurtbox a little bit behind and then there's a there's finally the pushing forward from the initial swing so yeah it's a little bit deceptive in terms of range jake so far gets the grab back throw looking to catch the landing here but not able to monty nice gets a jab reset yes putting it one one apiece here monty at 80 percent we'll see man i mean it's not over yet, and looking like Jake might still have a lot of opportunities to lose the game still against Monty. Because yeah, I mean, Gamma's damage output is also incredibly strong too. But oh, the minecart is barely living. Can't make any more mistakes though. The next big hit should be the stock. But uh, yeah, Gamma can definitely get a lot done if he can get the right opening. He just has very good aerials for comboing. Oh, oh. I don't know what happened there. Sorry guys, I, I can't see the screen. <laughs> Alright, I see the back air. I see the last back air. I had to tune into the Twitch stream. I see the last back air there for, for Jake. Alright, we're back. Uh, yeah, great, great, great first game uh, for Jake, honestly. Um... Yeah, I just think like this match is going to be difficult for Game Watch. He doesn't really have that much range to try to like keep uh, Steve out. So he's pretty much forced to approach in a lot of situations. And uh, if the approach is wrong, he gets hard punished. Ready? So, yeah, this is one of those matchups where, you know, Game Watch can't hold uh, up the out of shield all the time. Yeah, you have to really evaluate because even then Steve has some really good tools like up tilt, up air, up smash even. And you even then, like if you find your 
landing poorly, yeah, there are some times where just Steve can catch you for landing poorly. We've seen Jake pull off the spot dodge forward smash so well so many times. Luckily though, Game Watch has some amazing edge guarding tools. So if he does get in a situation like this where he can continuously force Jake off the stage, he can get a lot of damage that way or even just get some really early kills too. And I think that's what Monty's uh, trying to set up as much as he can. Any opportunity to just force Jake off stage. Nice catching oh. the roll with the ledge. Yeah, the ledge roll with the down smash. Best lead that Monty's had so far. Yeah, Monty's got a pretty strong lead. 107 here with the back air reading out the ending of Minecar. Monty looking for a lot of opportunities to continue his lead. Dash attack to catch the ending. I think as Monty stays a little bit more relentless and watches out the landings. It'll be fine because look even then Jake can understand how Monty wants to land and then punish him for it Even on the up smash you still have to respect Jake because he's one of the masters of his game that spot dodge You know up tilt up smash forward smash opportunities. He's really strong at calling his opponents out for the Speaking of call outs though Monty with that forward air hitting him right out of the minecart One of the best punches you can do against uh, that move Let's see. Let's see how much damage Monty's able to rack up on this stock. Honestly, won't take much. Uh, that mirror will lead to a huge combos if you can get to work. Very scary situation to be in there. Almost getting spot dodge forward smash by the diamond. Wow, up these through the down smash. Really good stuff from Monty. And just continuing these juggles. Oh yeah, Jake definitely uh, might be starting to fish for the kill a little bit here. Yeah. If you keep fishing too much, you're gonna. Oh no, yeah. This gives Monty the ability to slowly make a comeback here. And when you're kind of fishing too hard, man, your opponent will definitely take advantage of your overextensions. Man! Monty is not letting him go on the stage at all. And it's good too, because he's been doing a really good job of catching Jake on those situations. Essentially, Jake has the only options to either go for Elytra from really low recoveries, or even then, he has to watch out for the minecart, because the way that Monty has been playing, he's been calling out minecart pretty well. Yeah. Like so, yeah. Like he doesn't even he's have to look. around it. He's not shielding it. He's just getting out of range of that hitbox. Very, very good stuff. But he wanted to see if his down air would like either clang with the other smash, just go through it instead. That he just went straight into an active hitbox. And uh, never sleep on the comeback ability of Steve when he has these diamond tools, especially a light character like Game Watch. You can, I can see him dying around 70, even early six, like mid 60s at the ledge. So, uh, I like to think that Sakurai be... didn't make Steve one for one because you know what would have been crazier if just Sakurai let Steve mine out armor. Because in Minecraft you can create your own armor. And that would be ridiculous if Steve could just have like diamond armor. As if this character wasn't already hard enough to take down. Imagine just having Steve just have diamond armor. That'd be ridiculous. But unfortunately Steve is not. Like you said, these diamond tools definitely give Steve an edge here in the comeback factor. Able to catch the landing here on Monty. Not so much of the start of the combat, but it is one of those things like Monty has to consider. How, how many times do I get hit before any of the diamond tools will eventually kill me? Especially with Rage Steve. Okay, just barely enough with the forward air. Uh, yeah, and that's a little bit of a sigh of relief. Um, still hold, being able to hold on to this lead, even with the threat of the diamond. Uh, really good for Monty. Alright, Steve. The way that Jake has kind of positioned himself, like, all right, cool, let me slowly camp here. It's Monty who's been going for those aerials. Look at the punish there after the forwarder. And that's what I'm seeing from Jake. Like, okay, cool, I don't have to overextend, even though I know I'm behind. It's up, it's up to Monty to kind of react around me, and going for those forwarders will eventually add up and give Jake an opening that he's looking for. Because oh, the end lag, oh, unfortunately, Monty just dropping that lead like that. Monty, what is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Monty's been having a lot of strange SDs in this bracket so far. Uh... Hopefully, it doesn't lead to him um, going down like 2 0 instead. It's a big combo. From Jake gets the up B out of there, though. I think Jake was trying to get a spike, but oh my god, that anvil so much sense, almost killing as well. Monty suddenly would start as a huge lead, finds himself pretty close to dying. Okay. Nope, he's gonna get it back to the center stage, mining. A lot of good materials here. I see the diamond. It's gotta be careful. Oh, there it is! Okay, we're living. Just barely, though. Is he 
TNT set up here. Just upping through it. Nice use of that uh, that option from the ledge. Still gotta be very careful though. Finds a way to hit him with that up B, but not paying attention to the minecart. Oh man. Monty kinda sweating here. He knows the next big mistake could be the end of the set. But oh, gets caught. So Nothing. close. So Jake. close. Great DI from Monty. Okay, yeah, straight to the platform. He's not gonna get a hard punish, but that was oh, great. That was yeah. a hard punish. He's still living. He didn't get the diamond or sorry, the armored um minecart. Okay. And he just keeps jumping into these hitboxes. Jake calls out the down air with the diamond pickaxe, and that's gonna be 2-0 Jake. Jeez. That SD cost Monty so